your Minnesota Fighting Vikings are getting it done at 7-1, and one, one of the best records in the National Football League. In fact, the second best. Two. And the only game lost against the Eagles, whatever. Or whatever back in week two. But six wins in a row, getting it done, as well as just expanding, contracting. No, no, expanding, just ever widening that gap in between the rest of the NFC Norris division. So things are going well. And our friends over at 538, well, we call them friends when they're actually in our favor. Last year, maybe maybe not so much. And we, uh, as we know, 538 is never wrong with anything about polling or numbers or anything like that. Uh, but taking a look at the NFC, so they're giving the Vikings, uh, they're projecting the Vikings that have a 13-4 and record, which I don't know, man. Where do you see three losses? I don't really see it, but the projecting the Vikings at 13 and four wanting some more 99% chance to make the playoffs, 98% chance to win the NFC North. Uh, and then a 12% chance to maybe catch the Eagles and secure that first round by now a little bit uh, annoying that they put the Cowboys ahead of the Vikings. Also 7% chance to win the Super Bowl, uh, but, but what, uh, whatever at this point uh, and the Cowboys up at 12% really uh, who, who invested in 538? Jerry Jones? Jerry, did you buy 538? What the hell, man? But uh, they project the Eagles at 14 and 3, the Cowboys at 12 and 5, and the uh, Eagles have about a, a 2 and 3 chance of securing that first round by, which obviously the Vikings don't have the head to head against the Eagles, so they have to be a full game uh, above the Eagles in terms of a final record to secure that one seed. But would be kind of amazing. Plus, it's kind of funny. Like the percentage of winning their Super Bowl, 19%. Uh, it's only 7% higher than the Cowboys, which I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I kind of disagree with that, but whatever. And then you got the Niners and the Seahawks. Uh, so you have the Seahawks, 51% uh, chance to win the division. Uh, the Niners at 45. The Bucks have the inside track on the NFC South, which uh, it's, uh, it's kind of an ugly division uh, this year. I mean, I mean, the Falcons were leading for a hot second. It's kind of crazy, man. But the Bucks and Tom Brady, uh, after getting the win, are sort of in the catbird seat again. And if the season ended, right meow today, uh, this is what the a NFC uh, NFC playoff seedings would be. So the Eagles would be at one. The Vikings would be the two seed. The Eagles, uh, or excuse me, the Seahawks would be three. The Bucks would be four. Uh, that would be your four division winners. And the Vikings would welcome in Cal Shanahan. Eh, 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 it's Cal. Cal, Cal, eh, 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 Cal. Uh, and the San Francisco 49ers, which... Not a great first-round matchup. I mean, yes, you got Jimmy G, but McCaffrey will be fully into the offense by then. And also you got Debo. That offensive line is legit. The defense is one of the best in the league. So uh, that's tough. That That is a tough draw. Would you rather have the Giants? Maybe. Would you rather have the Cowboys? Possibly. Uh, as weird as it sounds, possible, man. Or you're hoping someone else rises up and snatches one of those last wild card spots. I don't know. I don't know. But also, conversely, they have to come into U.S. Bank Stadium, which is one of the toughest places to play. The Vikings have one of the best home field advantage. It is loud. It is proud. They get after a man. So it's tough. It's it's really tough. But I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm holding out very slight hope that the Vikings will find a way, f -f 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 find a way uh, where the Eagles stumble a time or two, even though probably unlikely. Because looking at the Eagles' remaining schedule, I mean, talk about tiptoeing through the tulips, man. What the hell? You know, what, what the hell is this nonsense? So maybe the one seed is far fetched, but who, who really knows at this point? But you know, the the number crunchers uh, and the people much smarter than you and I over at five thirty eight, they believe it in the Vikings. But of course, it, it, is it sad that just being a Vikings fan, the first thing uh, I did when I read that is like, hmm, one percent chance not to make the playoffs. How is that going to happen? Yeah, knocking on all the wood, but this is a fun season. Uh, I think this has a chance to be a very special season, and we're just enjoying the ride, man. Just enjoying the ride. <laughs> uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. 538 loves the Vikings, loves their chances to win the play, uh, win the division and make the playoffs. Uh, let us know your thoughts or our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.